Hi, today we're going to be thinking about moths attracted to a bright flame. Here's a candle, and as usual with a candle, I'm trying hard not to set fire to my hair. But take a look at the candle flame, look at the colours. Can you see white, yellow, an orange, and beyond that blue? I want you to think about this candle because it might not be dark where you are now. So take a look at this one, because we're going to be drawing our own circle of light and making some moths. And moths are really beautiful and interesting, so I think it's going to be really fun. So let's get going. So here is my um, piece of paper. I've made it square and I've drawn out a circle, a little candle shape and a flame shape to give myself some guidelines. So I'm going to start by having a little yellow bit here, because I remember that. And then I'm going to leave that bit white and I'm going to have va vaguer and vaguer orange as it goes out, but it's going to start quite bright. We should have washed my brush because that's a little bit dirty orange, isn't it? I've got my orange now. I'm going to put that around. And I'm going to leave this bit white because when you look at a candle flame, there is a very, very bright part. So can you see that? I'm painting that. And I, I like the way the paint goes. I think it looks good for flame. So there is my orange part. And now I'm going to make a, a little bit weaker. I'm going to use a slightly bit more watery paint. And I'm going to go out around the outside. I'm going to spread it out like that. And when I've done that part, this is going to be the part where I'm going to have my moths. So I want this to, this bit to be quite big. So I'm going to make that, oh, it's come out a bit brighter. I should have mixed the colour before I did it. So I'm going to keep that going like that. And then around that, I'm going to have my darkness. And my darkness is going to be blue. So here comes the darkness. It's going to start at the corners. And you don't want it to get too mixed to the orange because that will make greeny sort of not very nice colour. I'm going to have it a little bit darker at the corners where it's farther from the light. But if you wanted to, I guess you could do this in different colour ways, couldn't you? So long as it was contrasting, it could be a magic candle, which burned a kind of purple, but you'd have to still make it um, in the same way with a, a brighter part there and then a, a sort of darker and then a lighter colour around it. So there is my candle. I'm going to put a little wick in there and it's, my, my paint's popped up a bit, but there's my candle, and now I'm gonna think about how to make my moths. So I've got a book on moths, but you could just as easily have a, a search on the, online. Um, for the shape of the moth is different from a butterfly, and that's what makes this an interesting project. So have a look through, These are, there's all different types of moths. Now you could have some very, um, some very colourful, interesting moths, or some just some plain grey moths. And I've, I have gone for the more simple kind, and I've decided to draw mine on newspaper. Now there's another way of doing this, where you could actually, you could, you could draw with pencil, and here's a pencil one that I've done, and I could cut that one out. But it's quite fun to make them out of newspaper, and I'm going to show you how I've done that now. So here are some newspaper moths, and I've very carefully looked at the shape. And I even went through the newspaper and I found this some bits which were a bit blue, and I thought, well, that might be fun. So I got some a bit blue, and I'm still looking at my book of moths, and I'm thinking about the shape of the moth. I'm going to draw this in biro, and it's going to have a little fat mouth body like that. Sometimes a moth can have a very hairy body. That can be a little bit frightening. And it's going to have some wings like that, and another wing over the top and then if you can you can do a little little face on the top there like this and this will be one of my moths I'm going to cut out and put onto my page I might even cut out my pencil one that I've drawn but I'm going to go through and I'm going to choose some different ones because often at night I'm watching the little moths flutter around my house eating my jumpers and my curtains etc here's another one you can do them in a variety of sizes so some might be up close and some might be further away the flame but they're all going to be attracted to the light and with their grey bodies they're going to really contrast um, with the yellowy flame. Now I'm going to show you my yellowy flame again. Um, this one is one that I did before, it's not. It's got some pencil marks in it still but I'm going to rub those out in a minute. So I'm going to place some of my moths on so you can see how they look buzzing towards the light. So that's one and where's the other one gone? He's just here. He's a smaller one. I'm going to put him maybe coming in from the side. And I must have one more. Maybe I don't. Perhaps I'll just cut out this one and see how that looks. Yeah. So I want this one to show up. So maybe I'll move it around a bit. And the fun thing is you can slightly, you can make them slightly 3D when you stick them down. So 
I'm going to stick down a piece of little, now that I've decided where to put it, I'm going to stick this one down, cut my other one out in a minute, I'm going to stick that there. I'm going to, you could just as easily use Prit or a piece of blue tack if you wanted to move them around. And I've just, I've just folded him, see how he's a little bit fluttery now? And he's going to flutter towards the flame and his own destruction. There we go. And there's my little fluttery moth fluttering about. Maybe I'll just cut this one out. Now you could make all different types of moth. You could make exotic moths around a candle that's in a, dif a distant land. Or you could go for your common or garden English moth. Here is another one. I'm going to put him... Well, I'm going to move this one around and see where it looks good. What do you think? Maybe down here? So before you go make your own one, I thought I'd just show you another version and I've called this Moths Around the Light Bulb for obvious reasons. And I th why I thought about this was I was enjoying the contrast in the candle between the light yellow and the dark um, blue outside. And I thought, well, why not try that with a candle shape, um, with a light bulb shape rather. So when I came to do the light bulb, I just put the light bulb there and I thought of it casting a bright triangle of light around a table and I also enjoyed thinking about what might be on the table. So I've drawn a little cup here. Maybe I'm going to draw the little candle that's blown out. That's where we've put the light on. A box of matches maybe like that, a little box of matches on the table. And um, I've got one of my drawn moths and I'm going to put that one in, I think, just up there. So you can either do the candle or you could go for this kind of cartoony giant light bulb and the contrast of the little tiny stuff on the table below. It's really a moth's eye view, this one can peel that off and it's not coming off there you go I'll just peel that off and I'm going to put that one just there as if he's just about to go and I'm going to also peel that up so that's a little fluttery one as well and they're both fluttering around um, and here's another one I should put this one in here uh, so this is quite fun you can add as many as you like and have lots of fun with it I'm going to put that one there okay